This video demonstrates the installation of the glass barn door and track. The following are tools or items that are necessary or may be useful in the door assembly. A large, sturdy workbench or sawhorses, a rubber mallet, a drill, a Phillips head screwdriver, a 5 16 inch drill bit, a 3 8 inch drill bit, a 16 millimeter wrench, a 17 millimeter wrench, a tape measure, a four foot level, a pencil, and safety glasses. Due to the weight of the door, we recommend two people for any lifting. Prior to any installation of the track, you must decide if a mounting board is needed, and the board must be installed first. Due to many overlapping factors, such as the location of wall studs, the weight of a door, and the various types of trim used in homes, we highly recommend using a mounting board in all situations. The track must be installed into solid blocking, casing, or a properly installed mounting board. Improper installation could result in serious bodily harm. Next, measure for the proper height placement of your track. Add 2 and 7 8 inches to the height of the door being installed. Mark this height on the wall or mounting board on the side of the jam where the door will be in the closed position. On the same side where you made your height mark, measure 3 inches over from the door jam and mark the intersection of the two measurements. This will be the location of the first hole in the track. Place the first hole of the track at this intersection and using the drill insert the proper anchor for your wall type. Make sure the track is level while marking the remaining holes in the track. Insert the remaining anchors and secure the track to the wall using the screws provided. To attach the brackets to the door, make sure the door is laying flat on a sturdy work surface. Remove the four black screws from one of the brackets and separate the bracket. Place the side of the bracket with the groove and silver tube facing up on the underside of the glass. Insert the silver pin into the hole in the glass and place the other half of the bracket on top of the glass so they match up. Reinsert the black screws and tighten with the Allen wrench provided. Repeat with the other bracket. Insert one of the rollers into the top of the bracket. Screw the roller into place so there is a 3 quarter inch distance between the top of the bracket and the bottom edge of the roller. Make sure that the piece of the roller sloping down is facing to the outside of the door. Turn the metal nut into place and tighten with the 13 millimeter wrench provided. Repeat with the other bracket. To install the handle, unscrew the handle into two pieces and place the thicker piece on the underside of the handle hole. Place the thin piece on the top side of the hole and screw together until snug.
Lift the door and slide the attached rollers onto the track. Make sure the black screws are facing out. The bottom door glide keeps the door from swinging outward away from the wall. To locate the proper installation position on the floor, slide the door into the desired closed position and mark the outside edge of the door on the floor. Now place the door into the open position and slide the door glide onto the inside edge of the bottom of the door and place it onto the spot where you marked. Make sure that whether the door is in the open or the closed position that the door never leaves the door glide. This is the proper location for the door glide. Make sure your glide location is well marked. Slide the door out of the way and using a drill and the screw provided, secure the door glide to the floor. Make sure the door is hanging level on the track. If adjustment is needed, remove the door from the track. Loosen the nut with the wrench and turn the roller counterclockwise to the desired position, making sure the piece on the roller sloping down is facing to the outside of the door. Retighten the nut. Repeat with the other roller if necessary. Place the door back onto the track and ensure the door is level. Make additional adjustments as needed. With the door level and in the fully closed position, take one of the white door stops and insert it into the end of the track. Make sure the end with the V goes into the track first. Slide the stop into the track until it meets the roller and snaps into place. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, tighten the screw in the door stop. Move the door to the fully open position and repeat for the other door stop. Snap the track cover onto the track. Take one of the end caps and secure with a screw provided. Repeat with the other end cap. Your door is now ready for use.